In sea turtles, body condition has been evaluated using various methods, including subjective visual assessment, categorical ranking, and morphometric data. Subjective visual assessment includes determining a body condition score based on visual observation of neck and appendage thickness and relative flap strong concavity. This approach benefits from not requiring that a turtle be handled or that specialized equipment be used. However, it suffers from high inter observer variability and lack of reproducibility. Objective evaluation, which is currently what is being practiced, involves taking measurements of a turtle's straight carapace length and its body weight, which is usually determined using a hanging scale, and then calculated using the body condition index calculation. This approach is more accurate than the subjective body condition scoring system, but it also requires weighing the turtle, which can often be difficult in field situations, particularly to adult sea turtles that can weigh hundreds of pounds. One solution to this is the use of ultrasonography to estimate body condition. Ultrasound guided measurements of subcutaneous fat depth have been successfully used to approximate body condition in humans, domestic animals, marine mammals, and leatherback sea turtles, but not in green and loggerhead sea turtles to date. Validation of ultrasound assisted body condition assessment would provide a useful non-invasive proxy for body condition evaluation that can be used in conjunction with body condition scoring, morphometrics, and clinical blood data to objectively quantify body condition as an index of health in free ranging and captive sea turtles. Thus far, we have completed preliminary studies on healthy free ranging green and loggerhead turtles in the Indo Nerva Lagoon in Fort Pierce, Florida. Ultrasonography is performed on the dorsal shoulder region exclusively. For the remainder of the study, we will conduct ultrasound measurements of subcutaneous fat thickness on five juvenile and five adult stranded green and loggerhead turtles and confirm those measurements grossly and histologically. We will also compare the efficiency and accuracy of two different portable ultrasound machines, the Renko Lean Meter and the Ibex Evo. Each measurement will be repeated twice on each machine to validate the accuracy of the results. Linear regression analysis will be used to evaluate the correlation in fat depth values from ultrasound assisted and histological fat depth calculation. Once the technique has been validated, we can retrospectively and prospectively analyze body condition data and shoulder fat ultrasound images to more comprehensively evaluate body condition in captured materials. Thank you.